Well, you know, I'm working on a number of bills that actually are about community safety, especially for women and children. In our state, we have 400 to 600 untested rape kits, and it really concerns me. It concerns me whether the victims have had a voice and have had justice, and whether we're doing everything we can to protect the community against serial rapists. You know, often the media refers to it as revenge porn. We're trying to come up with other terms that are less derogatory towards women, which is often who is targeted by these crimes. So what happens is when there's images, and sometimes they have been given to another party, and sometimes they're taken from a party, and they're somehow shared. And it causes incredible harm. Uh, we have victims in our state that have lost their jobs. They've had emotional problems in isolation after this occurs, and we want to make sure there's justice for those victims. As you know, this is a big issue for South King County, and we've been working on a number of items uh, to help victims. But one of the problems we have is that law enforcement, they want to have a place to take the young victims, but often there's nowhere to take them but jail. And so we really want to explore that. What can we be doing to give them the assistance they need and ensure law enforcement they're getting help? There's been a minor change. I'm still on education, judiciary, and rules. And this year, I'm on public safety, and I have the honor of being the vice chair of that committee. I'm very excited about that. A lot of my bills go through public safety, and so it was a very good fit for me. Well, I think a lot of the focus of this session, of course, is gonna be on education and how we fully fund education and move forward. It's also gonna be about mental health. We have issues in our state of people being boarded in emergency rooms and not getting the care they need. And so we'll be looking at that carefully as well as transportation and how we keep goods and people moving. I have to say it's an incredible honor to serve in Olympia and I am so thankful to be here and represent my district. And I just want my constituents to know my door's always open and to email me and call me with any concerns they have or any questions.